Hi everybody, Jeff Simon here from Social Flight with another cool stage of building on our Titan T51D Mustang. I'm sitting here with the tail section of the fuselage and you can see something really interesting about this that you face in many different aircraft uh, builds and that is we've got a, a curved surface in our turtle deck that's transitioning into a flat surface which will be where our side skins are. Now this presents us with an interesting problem because even though we have our rivet line here when we go and match everything up where if I use this piece of, of just flat aluminum to simulate what the side skins are going to do here pretty much no matter what we do here as we bring it over uh, the side skins really not going to do the exact curve of the turtle deck on its own we're going to put it under stress we're going to have the rivets in place but you still need to have an edge distance so now outside of the rivets there's still a, a piece of that side skin that's hanging over and what we don't want to have happen is we don't want to have an, an angle where it kind of sticks up like this and then the rest of it comes across and we have this sharp edge we want this nice smooth transition to happen in doing that so that leaves us with a challenge how are we going to get a bend on the edge of our skins so they naturally curve over from flat into the curved surface on the turtle deck of our tail? And the answer is a very cool tool that I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, this tool right here is called a bead roller. I got this one from Eastwood. It's just a little over $100. I did add to it a more expensive module, which is a power drive. Normally this can be hand cranked, so um, it's really just because I do a lot of the work on my own. If I'm working with a large piece, I don't wanna have to crank it uh, with a third hand that I don't have. And so you can add to it this power drive, which is, uses a pedal and then uh, powers the unit to crank it through. The way that this actually works is it has different uh, pieces that you put in here that allow you to set it up for different curves. And there's a variety of different kinds uh, here. There's different dies is what they're called. Um, and I'll show you how they come. This is one right here that happens to be, this one says it's a, a 5 16 round over die. You have a male and a female die that's part of it. There's all sorts of different uh, dies that you can get. You've got, if you've ever seen uh, pieces uh, of like a, a floorboard that is embossed with raised uh, uh, tunnels almost that give it strength and stability, that's also done using a bead roller. You can, you can put those lines in. You can do a whole bunch of cool things with a bead roller. This one is an eight inch bead roller, which is which the eight inch is talking about the depth of the throat here. If you were gonna be working lots of pieces around, then you probably want something with a, a greater depth. But I'm only working on edges. And so for me, this works. And I went and got these other uh, Coverdell dies, which come in different radiuses. Uh, and so I'm using a half inch radius on this one right now, but there's one inch, one inch and a half, all different radiuses that you can experiment with. And the way that it works, is I'm going to take this flat piece right here and all you need to do uh, normally of course I might be standing next to it but I'm sitting here to be on camera but all I actually need to do is uh, line the piece up and then I'm going to press the pedal it's going to start moving and you're going to see that this just works directly through so I'm going to start it turning there it goes I've already sized it and now I just go through feed this directly through be very careful about your fingers. Make sure nothing's getting close to the edge. Boom, it's done. And that's the end result. You can see that beautiful curve it's done on the edge. It's perfectly smooth, makes sense. And, and it's, just, it's just a gorgeous radius that it went and put with almost, almost no effort. And so if I go over to the tail now. Okay, so now I'm here over at the tail and all I need to do is hold this up to there to see what that actually does. And the nice thing is it puts this nice curve in and now when I go and rivet it down, the edge is just beautifully curved into the surface and I'm, and I'm just pulling it into place. It's really, really nice. 
Now, one of the things that's also helpful is that since the way that the die works is it's flat for a while before that curve happens, I can actually feed this through a little bit pulled away and it will also, it, that it will kind of remove some of the curve. So you actually can work something more than once, although it will stretch the aluminum a little bit, so you do have to be careful. But um, I can experiment with different curvatures, with different amounts that I'm putting in there. I can move the dies a little bit further apart and that will curve it just a little bit less as well. So um, just a cool trick to know if you need to go and make a flat surface curve and transition into a curved surface like a turtle deck. Little tip for you. Until next time, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight. Be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free Social Flight mobile apps for Apple and Android devices. We have tens of thousands of aviation events and destinations. We've got prizes that we give away and every Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. our Social Flight Live show with famous guests and wonderful people. Just go to socialflightlive.com to register for that show. I wish you all blue skies.